In our last video, we have seen how do you define the spec flow steps and the spec flow projects. Now in this video, we'll continue the same project and we'll see how do we use our service library project to test the or to write our behavior driven test cases using the spec flow. So this is my service library class, which is a calculator class where I have the calculator method for each of my different different functionalities such as the add, subtract, divide and multiply. Now I would like to define the test cases for each of my calculator service method from the behavior driven feature which is a spec flow feature. This feature which is comes by default we have already been added and this step for these features are already been defined here as you can see. Now how do you use this? First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to define a couple of variables. So let me add the reference of the my of my service library to this spec flow project so that I can get the service implementation or the class library implementation. It's been added. Now I will initialize that particular class as in read only just to test. Next, I'll define few variables. So I'll define variables as in double type, which is a number one. And actual result. Now, what I'll do is I'll sign this number one variable to this p dot zero. Similarly, I'll assign this number two with the next method. Now from these two methods, I got two variables which has got the value. So simply, if you understand, 50 and 70 will be allocated to number one and number two. Now, next I would like to perform the run of my calculate method. So I'll use my variable calculate and then I'll run add method as we are performing the add operation. And here I will pass both number one and number two. And I'll hold this value as an actual So that's the third variable which we have used so far. This I'm going to rename it to the expected just to show you that you can rename the method variables. So here I'm going to call the assert here assert dot equals and then actual this is my assert scenario so this is how I have completed my method so let me just rebuild the solution the build is succeeded I'll rerun the test set this time All my test cases are passing right now. And if you look at my spec flow test, it is giving me a very, very crisp and clear idea how my test cases are written and what I'm trying to do actually. So with the plain English language, given the first number is this and the second number is this, which is completed and the last result is this. Whereas I compare with, whereas I, if I compare this spec flow versus my manual test cases, I'm not getting any 
detail out of the test execution though I can write it though with the help of console but by default it's not giving me any detail as such so comparatively this is much more descriptive and easy to read and maintain the te my test cases similarly if I need to write a next scenarios to add let's say two different numbers again what I can do is I can define or copy the scenarios add another two number because you cannot have the scenario with the same two number so this is what I'm going to say 300 plus 100 and the result should be 170 for example now this time if I compile the application I should have two different test here we go we have got another method with the add another two numbers and now if I try to simply run all my test cases again I should have I should get the expected result which is success because my scenarios actual actual versus expected are going to meet successfully The test case has got failed. The reason for that is I'm trying to add 150 plus 100 and it should be 250, but the actual result I have given as in 170. So it's not matching the expected versus actual. And that is where it is failing. Now to confirm that what I can do is I can put a breakpoint on my step definition like this. I have added a breakpoint just to validate what's wrong with my test cases. Though in this scenario, it is much more easy to readable, uh, easy to judge that what exactly the problem is. But in may, in real life project scenario, you may not have the clear idea of what's going on with your test cases or your implementation, your service library implementation. To validate that, you can put a breakpoint to any of your step definition, like you add the breakpoint on your normal N unit or MS unit test cases. Now. To rerun again, just to verify, I'll click here on the debug option and we'll rerun again. While it is running, if you can see the last run, it says that the expected versus actual is not matching and that is where it has failed. If you scroll down, these steps are matched, but the last step, which is then the result should be 170 which is the expected but the actual was 250 and that's why the test cases has been failed now i got the breakpoint and the expected result what i'm expecting from the test scenario is 170 as you can see but as the actual i'm getting it as 250 as the result of these two numbers right and that is where it is failing so i'm simply i can either change the scenarios which i've written in the test cases or if there is a problem with my service implementation let's say if i have a problem or if if i have incorrect implementation in my calculate service then i can modify directly there so let me just re-verify this i'll just stop this i'll update the test scenarios with the correct value which i'm expecting 250 I'll rerun again and this should run the test cases this should pass this time And as it is expected, my test cases are passing and I'm able to successfully able to run the calculate service method to perform the unit testing using the specflow BDD test scenarios. That's it in this particular video. In the next video, we'll look at some of the more advanced scenario with BDD using the same calculate service till then. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching it. See you in the next video.